Joe here at JT Custom Baits. Today I'm going to make a video about how I make my jigs. I'm going to try and keep it short and to the point, so I'm not going to go into how I modified the mold to accept the little wire keepers and all that stuff. Maybe that'll be another video. This is a Do It Football jig head mold. It's different sizes, eighth quarter, three eighths, and half. I'm going to be making a three eighths today on a four aught. BMC 7328 hook. It's a good wide gap heavy wire hook with the black nickel finish. So, I just put the hook in the mold, the pin to make the hole for the weed guard that you epoxy in later after the head's all painted and powder, powder coated. Put all your parts in the mold. Nothing fancy. Pretty uh, straightforward. Self-explanatory. Just uh, a word of caution. This is hot lead. It's molten. Melting temperature of lead is 620 something degrees Fahrenheit. It will burn you. And uh, of course lead's toxic so don't eat it. And. Uh, do your own research if you're going to make your own jig heads. Take the necessary safety precautions, wear gloves, whatever, if you, you know, whatever, whatever's necessary to keep you safe. And, uh, well, there's one. I'm going to keep going. I'm going to turn off the camera and make some more. Okay, now I'm back inside, and I just need to clean these up and get them ready to powder coat. Uh, there's a little bit of flashing. That's from my mold modification. It's less than perfect. Uh, we just break that off. If there's any flashing from the two halves of the mold coming together, you just kind of drag a, any kind of a blade over it. X-Acto knife works really well. Here, and that's everything except that little the tip of the wire that's sticking out in the collar, I take that off with the Dremel tool. And I'll see if I can set the camera up to get a better view on that. Okay, here we go. It's going to be kind of noisy, but I just got this. This is the about the widest cutoff wheel I could find for these. It's, I don't know, roughly 16th of an inch, maybe even a little wider than 16th. But it works just fine as a little grinder. So what we're going to do, just try and be careful not to nick the lead too much. It's no big deal if you do, but it will, uh, if you get too much lead in these wheels, it'll make them pretty well useless. just like that and it's almost ready to powder coat. Okay the next step in this process here is to clean up this little area where I broke the screw off. See that makes that little, um, I don't know, it's not really a divot but it's really easy to fix. I'll show you. Okay we're at the disc sander here and uh, this is pretty easy. It's not necessary to, to do that, but it just makes a little nicer, neater, finished product. The fish wouldn't care if you left it on there, but I do. Okay, this next part kind of is like magic, at least it is to me anyway. It's powder coat time. I like to take these, kind of shake them up, and kind of fluff up the powder coat in there so it's loose and fluffy. It, it, gets, it coats the jig head way better if you do that. I do that. I put the lid back on it and we'll shake it up every five, six, seven jig heads. And since we need to, don't forget about the weed guard hole because this will just totally fill that in. I got some eighth inch wooden dowel that I cut into short pieces and I just twist it in, shove it in there to the uh, weed guard hole and then turn the, turn the heat gun on. I put it on this 
the Wagner Wagner heat gun. I got it Osh, I think, when they were still there. And I put it over here on the high setting. It says 950 degrees. I don't know if it's really 950 degrees, but that's what I run it at right there. And I'll show you how it works. Hold the jig head over it, each side, warm it up. Not too much. You don't you don't have to get it 950 degrees or whatever it says it is. And then just fluff it around in there. And then hold it back over the heat. And you'll see it all kind of melt together and get real glossy and even. Take the peg out. I dip it in, I get there's a little bucket of water right here. I'm dipping it in. Cool it off and it's already tough, but I'm going to take it back there and put it in the toaster oven and bake it. Bake it at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about 20 minutes and then that really cures it makes it really tough. Okay, I'm back out here at the lead pot, or actually specifically the toaster oven. And I'm going to put them in the toaster oven and bake them at 350 for 20 minutes. Excuse my frogs. They're, uh, it's that time of the year for them and we've had a little rain so they're quite chatty. Um, but before I bake them, see how the, uh, the powder coat gets in the hook eye there a little bit. Not on all of them but it ha happens quite a bit. I just take a pick or any other sharp object and bust it out of there from both sides. And then when you bake it whatever little kind of rough chips that are on the eye of the hook will melt and it comes out a lot a lot better after you bake it. Okay we're back inside and I skipped the part where I put the, the fiber weed guards in. It's pretty boring so I mean I, I just use the Devcon two-ton epoxy put a little dab inside the weed guard hole, put a little on the weed guard, push it in, prop it up and let it dry overnight. I didn't want to subject you to, to that much boredom. So there's a finished jig head ready for the skirt. Put it in the tying vise and I cut off. I was using this, the uh, silicone bands for the skirts and these were supposed to be extra long life ones and they still only last a year or so and they get all crusty and they start falling apart and and then you, you lose your skirt you don't want that so I started wire wrapping them all and this is this is 020 stainless steel wire it's craft wire um, I'll post a picture of the label it's I don't know if you can see it there but I'll, I'll, I'll put a better picture like right in the middle of the video right here okay so this one is going to be uh, skirt material. I get it from Skirts Unlimited and this color is called Copper Craw and they have hundreds of colors on their website and unlimited options really. Skirts Unlimited but uh, a full skirt is two tabs, two of these tabs put together uh, you can take one of one color, one of another color, and blend them together. You can do one, one and two halves, or wh whatever, whatever you want. So you take your two tabs and your piece of wire, bend into kind of a U shape, and just put the tabs, both tabs, in there, and start it on the the collar and wrap the ends of the wire around working around the weed guard and then back up to the back of the jig, the bottom of the jig and then work, make sure you work it around so that it's so that all the all the strands of the skirt material are even around the jig head around 360 degrees this way and once you get once you get that done cross the wires 
and then give them a little twist and then I grab them with forceps and then you can kind of pull it cinch the wire down tight and then just keep twisting it might need to take more than one grab at it like that and you'll feel it when it snugs down. It'll start to get tight. And then I cut all but about three wraps off. And then just fold it back so it doesn't poke you in the finger. Or it won't poke the fish either when he first picks it up. You don't want don't to give him a premature stick and scare him away. And then just cut the ends of the tabs off where they're stuck together. Get both of these in one shot. And pull them in case they're still sticking. And that is a finished jig. And then put whatever your trailer of choice on there. you're ready to fish. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down and tell me what I'm doing wrong. Um, please subscribe, share it with your buddies, and uh, I'll see you next time. Thank you.